Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of t 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to threat hunt within Azure Sentinel. I'm here within the Azure Sentinel portal, and there's multiple places that you can go here to do more advanced threat hunting within your environment. The first of which is under the log section here. Microsoft has a bunch of pre-made queries that you can run against your environment, and it's all using the Cusco query language, or KQL. This is something that if you're going to use Sentinel and use the threat hunting capabilities within your environment, really be effective. I would suggest you start to learn that language or have your team members start to learn that language. It'll really help you throughout your investigation and really maximize the Azure Sentinel service for your organization as well. So within here, I could search for some of these. They're bucketized as well based off of certain categories. And let's say I want to come down here and look at recent Azure activity logs. So I can go ahead and run this within my organization and it'll pull up all of my information here about my tenants and any authentication information in this case from this query that I'm running here. So from here, I could generate new alerts that would relate to the Sentinel activity. And this, just like I showed in my previous lesson, is where you can create more automation off of these alerts as well too, where you're actually using the logic apps as part of Azure to conduct certain response activity or maybe that's just generating a ticket in your third-party tool like ServiceNow or a PSA tool that you use today for ticketing itself. So a lot of cool capabilities here from the query section and you could obviously write your own queries here and run them within this portal. The second section I wanted to showcase here is the hunting section. This is where you can have a bunch of pre-made queries as well from Microsoft. You have this entire attack chain, the MITRE framework here as well, which is bucketizing these queries that they have available to you. You can filter based off of those as well too, or you could decide that you didn't want that filter and just have all of them at once here. If I click back into that, it'll go ahead and add that filter back to my list. And you could come in here and you can click on these individual queries. You can see more of the description and everything about it here. And you can run this query ad hoc, but they also do allow you to run all the queries as well too. So it'll just start spinning through your environment and running those queries and, and presenting any results that it finds, which may be more of what you want to do to narrow down your search. And maybe this is a daily activity you do, or maybe this is a weekly activity, just so you can see more of these attempts and investigate a little bit further if it's something that pertains to potential threats within your organization. So if I click into one of these that has this anomalous sign-in activity, I can see there's 11 results here. And maybe I wanna go ahead and just view those results. This will bring up the query page again here, which is pre-populated with the query that I just ran, and it has all the information here about the results itself. And I can click in and I can expand that to see more information, and I can dive in a little bit further. Up top, I could also modify this query on the fly as well if I wanted to add more information. And in some cases, I might want to add graphical views just to help with being able to see this visually for me. So I added a time chart here, which can give me more of that graphical view again of what's going on. And this may help me visualize exactly what I need to investigate within my account. So lots of customizability here. You could save these as new queries that you could run periodically. But again, you could save them as new alerts here as well too. Finally, the last piece I wanted to touch on here is the watch list functionality that's available under the configuration section. Watch lists are pretty new in Azure Sentinel, but they do allow you to heighten your search capabilities for threat hunting, but they could also help you in whitelisting certain events within your organization as well too. So they have some templates here that you can see as examples here. And they're saying that, hey, maybe you want to bucketize your high value assets, or you want to bucketize certain network addresses or terminated employees or VIP users. So just a lot of customization that you can have here. And when you go to create a new watch list, they walk you through this wizard where you can say a name and I'll go ahead and name it here. And I'll just say that this is going to be my external users. And then I can add an alias as well. Next under the source section here, you can upload a CSV file, which defines those entities that relate to this watch list that you want to have. And again, this could be users, this could be a device list, this could be a IP range list that you might have here as well too. So lots of capabilities here that you have that you can create. But the cool part is then that you could actually use the logs and query this information directly from a watch list name. 
So it'll encompass all those entities that you put within the watch list versus having to type all those out or requery them every single time. So it's a really great way to perform investigation against maybe high value assets within your organization. But again, you could reuse it in the opposite way so that you could whitelist this to better identify true positives versus getting a bunch of false positives within your account about potential threats. And this again is just ultimately helping with the machine learning activity going on within the account. So that's everything that I wanted to showcase for you guys today about threat hunting within Azure Sentinel. Stay tuned for my next lesson. We'll be walking through setting up the Microsoft 365 Defender integration with Azure Sentinel. Thanks guys. Have a great day.